the scary thing is, is that, you know, when the wind starts blowing like they had out there and you get those embers up into the wind field, they can travel a mile or more and still be volatile. And that's, to your point, three, four hundred yards away seems a far enough separation. But with the right level of wind in the right direction, it can carry embers across pretty significant distances and find a, a hospitable place to land and then reignite something that, that you just didn't think it was going to happen. And that's why diligence is so important. And then there were some great examples too, though. There were some positive sure. examples out there where you would see everything decimated, but there's two homes sitting there right there that have some char marks on the outside, but maybe some smoke damage on the inside, but the building is still standing. It's still, it still fought the good fight and won and, and survived that. And so it really shows that how we build things, how we maintain them can really change the outcome. And especially as we're out there doing remodels outside of even new construction, there's a lot of fair choices we can make that are fairly minor, like putting up that metal fence instead of the cedar one. Those are big things that you can do that'll just not change the fire path because I saw dozens. I was streaming the CBS channel down there on online and watching it, just kind of watching the firefight. And you could see all these news reporters out there and you could just watch it. It was like the cartoon and they lit the dynamite for Bugs Bunny. You could see that flame going right up to it. It's here we go again. Yeah. And it was just a fence. Exactly. Yeah. To your point, you don't really even have to replace the entire cedar fence, but it's that last four to six feet where you have the gate. That's that's where you really want to pay attention. And spaces at a premium out there. So you've got a lot of these accessory dwellings or additional dwelling units mm -hmm. that are on properties that can get close and paying attention and knowing that hey, if I have structures that are this close together, they can become ladder fuels. They can be, create radiant heat and they can overwhelm things like Vinyl window frames, right? vinyl window frames can melt, the glazing falls out, and now you've got contact and radiant heat getting to the more combustible stuff like draperies and things like that. So those details are all super important, 